हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ ठूमर राहुल वर्किंग एट डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अबाउट द लाइन सरफेस इन द वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी बिफोर टू स्टार्ट लाइन सरफेस इन वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक फॉर्मूला ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल लेंथ सरफेस एरिया इन द वॉल्यूम चार्ज डी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द कार्टिजन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम देन इन द कार्टिजन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम If we talking about the Cartesian coordinate system, then in the Cartesian coordinate system, x, y, and z, the basic formula of the differential length, which is the represented by the dl, is dx. x plus dy ay plus dz az differential surface is represented by the ds the basic formula is plus or minus dy dz ax direction if we use the y plane then dz dx in a y direction if we use the z plane then the dx dy in a z direction and the differential volume is represented by the dv is equal to dx dy dz here differential surface length and the differential surface both are the वेक्टर क्वांटिटी वेर इज द डिफरेंशियल वॉल्यूम इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी सिमिलरली इन द सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम y in z differential length is represented by the dl d rho in a rho direction plus rho d phi in a phi direction plus d z in a z direction differential surface is represented by plus or minus rho d rho d phi in a z direction plus or minus d rho d z in a phi direction plus or minus rho d rho d phi in a z direction and the volume is represented by the dv so it is not a vector quantity and it is represented by the row d d row d phi d z direction okay here you note that here we multiply by the row whenever we differentiate with respect to phi so when we differentiate it for the differential length always we put the row with the multiplication Okay. Now, in spherical coordinate system, in spherical coordinate system, difference length d l a is represented by d r. the coordinate of spherical spherical coordinate system rho r theta and phi d r in a r direction plus r d theta in a theta direction plus r sin theta d phi in 
फाइव डिरेक्शन ओके इन सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम वेन एवर यू डिफरेंशिएट विथ फाइव सो वी पुट द ओनली रो हियर वी पुट द आर एंड थीटा एंड वेन वी डिफरेंशिएट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू थीटा वी पुट द आर डिफरेंशियल सरफेस बी एस इज इक्वल टू प्लस ऑफ माइनस आर स्क्वेयर साइन थीटा डी थीटा डी फाइव इन ए आर डिरेक्शन फॉर द डी फाइव वी पुट द आर साइन थीटा एंड डी थीटा वी पुट द आर प्लस और माइनस आर साइन थीटा डी आर डी फाइव इन ए थीटा डिरेक्शन इक्वल टू प्लस और माइनस स्क्वेलर क्वानिटी Where is the both form differential length is a vector quantity and the differential surface is a vector quantity. Now this formula is directly used in the differential charge volume density, surface charge density, and the line charge density. Okay, we see the first line charge density. Line charge density is represented by the rho L. Line charge density is represented by the rho L. Suppose we have the differential charge d q is present on a differential length. Means suppose we have the differential length which is represented by the d L, and there is the differential charge presented on the differential length d q. Then the line charge density rho L is represented by the d q. By dL, if we require the total charge, then we multiply the dL with respect to rho L. So, if we take the integration both side, we get the total charge Q, which is represented by the Coulomb integration. dq is equal to rho l dl surface charge density surface charge density represented by the rho s lies the like the line charge density if we have the differential surface Suppose we take the small amount of surface from them, and the differential charge is located on the differential surface dS. Then S per the mathematically we can say that the differential charge density is rho s is equal to dQ by dS. So dQ is equal to rho s dS, and the total. charge d q is close integration rho s d s here depending on the surface located in the coordinate system in suppose cut uh, surface is in the cartesian coordinate system then value of the d s may be Either dz, dy in a x direction, either it may be the dy dx in a x f z direction, and the dz dx in a y direction. Similarly, if it is in the located in the cylindrical coordinate system, then the ds may be. Rho 
d rho d phi in a z direction d phi d z in a rho direction and d rho d z in a phi direction volume charge density volume charge density is represented by the sorry it is represented by the rho v and if the, we have the differential volume if we have the differential volume dv and the total charge is located in the differential volume is dq then as per the mathematical formula rho v is dq by dv so differential charge can be represented by the rho v dv and the total charge is represented by the Q is equal to close integration rho v dv. Here value of, value of the rho v is dependent in the Cartesian coordinate system. It is the dx dy dz. In the cylindrical coordinate system it is the d rho d phi dz and in the spherical coordinate system r square sin theta d rho or dr d theta d phi okay let's we see the one example here we have the total charge inside each of the volume we require to find the total charge inside <coughs> Sorry, here we require to find the total charge inside each of the volume indicated. Here we have the D1 the rho v in the Cartesian coordinate system. Here we have given the rho v in the spherical, sorry, cylindrical coordinate system. And here we have given the rho v in the spherical coordinate system. Okay. First, we require to find the rho v in the Cartesian coordinate system. So, we know that in the rho, total volume charge density or the total charge Q, the volume is represented with the rho v dv. And here, value of the rho v is 10 z square a raised to minus 0 0.1 x sine pi pi dv now in the cartesian coordinate system value of the dv is dx dy and dz so we put the value we get the triple integration with respect to dx dy and dz here the limit of the dx is minus 1 2 2 minus 1 2 2 limit of the y is 0 2 1 and the limit of z is 3 to 3.6 10 z square e raised to minus 0 0.1 x sine pi y dv dv value of the dv is the dx dy and dz so if we integrate value of the dx dy dz with respect to x y and z so we get 10 z cube by 3 upper limit is 3 to 3.6 for the x e raised to minus 0 0.1 x upon minus 0 0.1 2 to minus 1 for the y minus cos pi y divided by pi limit is 1 to 0 
if we put the upper limit and lower limit we get 10 z 3.6 cube minus 3 cube upon 3 e raised to minus 0 0.12 minus e raised to minus 0 point minus 1 upon minus 0 point 1 minus cos pi 1 minus cos pi 0 upon pi. Here we put the value of the upper limit and the lower limit and take the LCM. Similarly here we put the value of upper limit and lower limit and take the LCM. Okay. Now if we solve out that we get the value is 1 19.478 okay now here in the second case we have given the row is the 4 x y z square but here the limit is given in the row 5 and z means the volume charge is located in the Cartesian coordinate system and the limit is given the row 5 z in the cylindrical coordinate system so first of all here we transfer the x y and z into the cylindrical coordinate system and then find the total charge in the volume so here we have given the rho v is equal to 4 x y z square and in the cylindrical coordinate system x is represented by the rho cos phi y is represented by the rho sin phi and z is represented by the z so if we put the value we get 4 rho cos phi rho sin phi z square so we get 4 rho square cos phi sin phi z square if you further simplify it then 2 2 rho square cos phi sin phi z square it is also can be rewritten as 2 rho square 2 cos phi sin phi z square the value of the 2 cos phi sin phi is the sin 2 phi so we get the 2 rho square sin 2 phi z square because 2 cos phi sin phi is equal to sin 2 phi now here limit is given for the row is 0 less than or equal to 2 for the phi is 0 less than or equal to phi less than or equal to pi by 2 and for the z it is the 0 less than or equal to z less than is equal to 3 here we use this limit or we can say that now we can use the this limit and the dv in the cylindrical coordinate system is rho d phi sorry d rho d phi dz so as for the difference total charge in the cylindrical coordinate system is rho v dv and the here rho v is 2 rho square sin 2 phi z square so 2 rho square sin 2 phi z square and dv is rho d rho d phi dz so rho d rho d phi dz if you multiply rho with the rho square so we get 2 rho q sin 2 phi z square d rho d phi and d z now if we integrate with respect to rho d phi and d z with respect to d rho we integrate the rho cube which is the 
rho raised to 4 by 4. So we get 2 rho 4 by 4. Upper limit for the rho is 0 to 2. With respect to sine to 5, we get value is minus cos 2 phi by 2 and the limit is 0 t phi by 2 and for the z square it is the z cube by 3 0 to 3 if we put the upper limit and lower limit we get 2 raised to 4 minus 0 raised to 4 divided by 4 minus cos 2 pi by 2 minus minus cos 2 0 divided by 2 3 cube minus 0 cube divided by 3. If we solve out, we get the value is 72 coulomb. Okay, in the third case, we have given the rho v in the 3 pi cos square theta cos phi divided by 2 r square r square plus 1 and the limit is the universe and the lim for the universe in the spherical coordinate system limit is for the rho is minus infinity to infinity for the pi theta is 0 to less than or greater than pi or for the phi limit is 0 to 2 pi and the value of dv is r square sin theta d rho d phi and d z so if we put value of rho v and the value of the dv we can easily find out the total charge like is the case a and b which is for the self study okay thank you